Hello Revolution Golfers, this is Martin Chuck coming to you live from the Raven Golf Club in beautiful Phoenix, Arizona. You need to come down here and see me sometime. I want to show you a drill. It's a really simple drill, but it's going to identify some tightness in your back swing. And it's also going to give you the awareness of structure to really strike some shots effectively. So I've got a dollar bill. Let me show you why I'm going to use a dollar bill. This dollar bill is going to go between my left thumb knuckle and the lifeline of my right hand. So I'm going to carefully place this in there and take my normal grip. And with students, I'll have them do this. I'll help, of course, and fit this in there. And then I'll try to tug that dollar bill out of there. Now, I'm not gripping tightly with my fingers. In fact, I'm going to hit a couple of shots with my right hand, as you can see, completely off the grip. Now these can be short little shots. I've got a nine iron here. And we're going to take this and just hit little pitch shots out there. The reason being is that I've got some structure, and here I'll do one down the line as I just hold this dollar bill in place. I'm trying to feel the gentle push arm to arm that is going to give me some structure in my swing to help me move my body and synchronize my arms together. You see, what I often see when folks come down to the Golf Academy here at the Raven, I'll see a lot of random arm motion where the arms aren't synchronized or structured. And when you do that, what happens, the hands want to separate. We don't want the hands to separate. You know, I've heard great teachers say, well, just put some grass in there. Um, that's all well and good. I like to use the dollar bill because it's long enough. It's kind of funny enough. And I'll make jokes about, hey, you can, if you can keep it in there, you can have it. So we'll hold that dollar bill in there, arm to arm, hands off the club, making some sequenced and structured motions. And again, even though my fingers are wrapping around the grip, there's my structured backswing and structured through swing. So down the line, let's hit a couple of shots here. Of course, I'm going to fit this in here. Here's the drill I want you to try. And you don't even need to do this at the golf course. You can just do this at your house. Just make sure you're not going to hurt the cat, dog, or chandelier. And let's make an arm swing and hold the dollar bill in place. And if you're bad at this, your kids are going to love it because they're going to collect all the dollar bills. So fingers off the golf club. It's like you've got your flat hand against your left thumb and grip and just make some short little swings being very conscious of your arms staying structured. And I'm hitting these about 30 yards is all. Try another one here. Okay, a little thin, but that sort of feeling, keeping those arms structured together is what is going to help you become a more effective striker. So I'm in my regular stance here, and I've got that gentle feeling like I can peacefully hold that dollar bill in place with relaxed right hand on the grip and go ahead and hit a shot for you. Not too shabby. Let's hit one more and I'll hit one for you face on. So again, there's a little bit of push between the hands here. Peaceful right hand, comfortable. Keep that structure. Good solid strike. And face on, again, here's the drill. Put that dollar bill in here, hands together, little structure back structure through. Hold that position for a second. You're going to find you're going to hit a lot better. This is Martin Chuck from the Raven Golf Club Phoenix. Go ahead and post your questions and comments down below. I'll get to as many as I can. Thanks for watching.